everybody, I'm Nick, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. On the last episode, we traveled to Route 9 and made it to Spikemuth. And on today's episode, I want to figure out where a gym is. And, you know, if you could assholes could just lift the gate open, that would be great. Alright, Marnie. With the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll just give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? Ah, the leader's lead card. That's right. Oi, welcome to Spike Mooth, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Hold on, mate. If you're gonna take on the gym, you better change into your uniform. Oh, the town is just the gym. If you're looking for the gym leader, it's straight ahead from here. Okay. And we don't even disable boxes? That's an odd thing. That's a really odd thing indeed. And people are just gonna jump me. That's just how this is gonna work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know the dark symbol, the dark gym leader is uh, the symbol for Team Yell, so I'm not surprised, but Really, the police should have put a, put a kibosh on all of this. Yeah. Yeah. If Pokemon had a proper justice system, this would be really awkward. And you only have the one dude? Yeah, I can break through that just fine, because I have this giant ass leak. All right, is, oh, the, you're not gonna fight me either? That's fine with me. All right, what more you got? Uh, you're just talking about, oh, it's, okay, that's a normal ass Mr. Mime. Uh, what do I do about you? I mean, I could just bust through. That's a way to do it. So here we go. And let me guess, I have to bust you guys up to get through. And yeah, I'm gonna blitz right through you. So get this Mr. Mime out of my goddamn way. I don't think your thievel is gonna help you out much here. Because I may not have the best super effective move, but I got kicks. Ow. At least your physical attack sucks, so I don't care about your sucker punch too much. Yeah, I got kicks. Get out of the way if you don't want to get burned. That's just how that works. Like, I know you want to support Marnie and all, but... Yeah. Is Mr. Mime gonna move? The Mr. Mime moves. Was it going to try and make a wall as it was running? This isn't a beat-em- This isn't a beat-em-up. Do I have- What the hell are you going to do? Are you going to jump me from the roof? Are you gonna are you gonna just fucking jump me from the roof? Are you gonna be that kind of asshole? Yep. They are fucking jumping me from the roof. That had to hurt. Yeah, I don't think that's how you do that. I got kicks. You sure you wanna get in the way of this? I got some big kicks. And I mean, I find it interesting that the town is the gym itself. Although, is, is this trying to just be Po Town 2.0? Because I get the feeling this is just trying to be Po Town 2.0. In which Po Town was depressing because of what it became this is just sad in a pathetic kind of light 
And who the fuck would just leave the Max Revive in the way for me? That seems a little irresponsible. Especially if you're trying to jump me, and it's the fucking Mr. Mime again. I'm missing something here. What, what the hell? Okay, the animation was pretty good. I'll give you that one. And I'm not in shock at all. In fact, I have so much healing that I probably just bust the rest of this game wide open. In fact, I'm not even gonna need any of my fire moves. My freaking double kick is going to dumpster you. Cause fighting is times four effective against freaking Weavile. Yeah, you're getting freaking dumpstered. That, that wasn't even funny. That was just sad. I'm just kind of saving, you know, the Surfetched for the gym fight. And you're just gonna backflip away past the Mr. Mime. And then Mr. Mime is just gonna keep moving, because that's just how things go, I guess. Do I get a chance to show off my Surfetch and cleave through this gym fight? That's what I want to do. And the only thing I can do is go in this. Oh, nope. All right, is it a double battle? Okay. Oh, so yeah, they, they, it literally is just the... Fuck, I don't have a ground move on me now. That's annoying. I have a way of solving this problem, though. It involves superpowering the cat and pyroballing the Drapion and seeing how that goes. How much damage? Not enough damage! Cinderace is gonna take a lot of damage, isn't it? Well, I don't plan on switching, so your toxic spikes are useless. And for you, die. All I have to say, get out of town. You're out of here. You're gone. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of healing before the actual gym fight, so there is that. I guess we'll just Brave Bird you and Blaze Kick you. I think that'll be a fine enough combination. Yup, you're done. You're done. Everybody's got levels! I mean, you were represented as a gym trainer, so that's kind of what you do. He just kind of gave up on his disguise. Okay. Anywho, it's healing time. And what better way than chowing down on berries? I'ma uh, give uh, Superpower its PP pee -pee back. Because the leader should have at least four Pokemon, so here we go. Shut your gob! Oh, Nicholas! Um, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spike Muth's telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Muth just keeps getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is, don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that would increase the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's no way to help someone at all. Nicholas, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Oh, it's a back alley fight. Huh? Here we... Go. Wait, what the hell are you doing? Uh, I don't have an Obstagoon for you right now, so that's gonna. This is what's gonna have to do.
So you're finally here, huh? See, I've, I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that way nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax or Pokemon, but well, I still hope you'll enjoy the battle. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spikemooth, Piers the Dark Type user. You wanna challenge me, even though you know you lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spikemooth, it's time to rock! A no gimmick fight. This is gonna be at least a little more interesting than the others. So first up, we got a Scrafty. Surfetched, cleave this thing. Everybody cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it, Scrafty. Intimidate the opponent. You know, even with an Intimidate, I still got enough attack to cleave your ass in two. So let's see. Yep, still works. Though I'm gonna take a swap after this. Cause minus two attack ain't gonna KO anything. Malamar. I don't have a fairy move on me. Fighting isn't going to work. Psychic does goddamn nothing. Man, this, common, this type combination is a pain in the ass. I could just brute force my way through. I think that's just what I'm going to do. Let's brute force this one. Malamar's gonna mess you up with his contrary ability. Yeah, but I'm not focusing on that. I'm just gonna focus on brute force on my way through. And maybe inflict a burn? That would be good too. Yep, we've inflicted a burn. Can't be contrary to that. Ow. That hurt a bit. But it didn't hurt enough. So you're gonna take that damage. And then maybe just a simple blaze kick will fix this situation right up. One more you got for me. Come out. Come out. Come on! All right, Obstagoon time. I think you mean Surfetched time. I forgot what Obstagoon's ability was. He's probably gonna announce it, because that seems to be his shtick. Oh, it's, he's just saying, fear the Obstagoon. I'm not. What does that even do? Oh, it's just a protect? Probably a protect with benefits. Yup, it is. You dropped my defense. Okay. Too bad I went. I got, I got. I went and got faster than you. Take that hit. Yeah, you done. And you got one more for me. What you got? What you got? Uh, no foul play for you. Oh my fucking god, Scun Tank. Uh, you, you fucking hate Poison Dark. You know what? How about... We'll let Dreadnought have some fun. Why not? I think Dreadnought can uh, clear things up here. So, uh, you don't do the encores? What are you gonna do, torment me? Cause that's what it sounds like you're gonna do. So it's just Sucker Punch and Toxic, eh? 
How about I use a little liquidation to soften you up? That seems like it's gonna be your thing. Soften you up. There we go. There we go. I'm not too worried about toxic, so... Especially if it's like, this is gonna take me what? Two turns? This is gonna be a two turn fight, I think. I mean, you're using Toxic and Sucker Punch just like you said, but I don't think that wins you the battle. In fact, I think it wins me the battle. So sorry, dude, I cleaned you up. At least I have to give you props for being the first Dark type gym leader in the series. It only took eight goddamn generations, Game Freak. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. Not before you give me that badge. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your dark badge. Ting! One away. One away. Here's a uniform too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. My little sis Marnie's gonna challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That right? That reminds me, Marnie, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Muth as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think if you really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no! I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey Nicholas, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? Will do. You seriously beat Piers? Here, a TM to remember this moment. I don't need Snarl when I have Dark Pulse. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad even the champions come to sort things out. Oh hey, you gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over to help. Come on then. I'll show you the way. Nick, thanks for coming, but I got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only badge left is the one you'll get from the dragon gym leader, uh, Raihan, right? Raihan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. So don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems about to have a champion time. I feel like I have to go that way anyway to get back. So looks like I may be getting involved after all. But that'll be for another episode. So on today's episode of Pokemon Sword, we got the dark badge. And on the next episode, we'll get into a double battle before actually getting on with things. So at that, I'm a Nick, and I'll see you guys next time.